Hello all, welcome to the new video of signals and systems. In this video, we will solve a question related to Laplace transform which had appeared in GATE 2016 ECE paper. So the question is regarding Laplace transform that is finding the Laplace transform of a periodic square wave of period T which is shown in this diagram. So after watching this video, you will be able to find Laplace transform of a periodic functions. So I will give you step by step approach to solve these kind of problems. So before solving that problem, you need to understand how to find the Laplace transform of a periodic function. Suppose say my function, periodic function looks like this. and so on ok so this is my time period t so one time period is t this is 2t and so on so I need to find Laplace transform of periodic function so uh, I will uh, give the detailed derivation of finding the Laplace transform of periodic function there is a one formula you can use that so but the basic logic behind that identity will be First, finding the Laplace transform of this function alone. That is, we need to find the Laplace transform of this first. That is, between 0 to t. Let's say, Laplace transform of this is f1 of s. And this whole function is ft. That is, this whole function is ft and only this part is, say, f1 of t. So, I can find the Laplace transform of this f1 of t, which will relate to be f1 of s. Then, the Laplace transform of this whole function, that is f of s, can be written as f1 of s upon 1 minus e raised to minus t s, where t is the time period of a periodic function, where t is time period of a periodic function. So whenever they give a question to find the Laplace transform of a periodic function, first you need to find out a function f1 of t which is repeating itself after say time t. Okay. So first you need to find out that function and then find the Laplace transform of this f1 of t then the Laplace transform of whole this periodic function will be just f1 of s upon 1 minus e raised to minus t s where t is the time period of a periodic function ok so the detailed uh, derivation can be found in the below link so we will use this identity for now to solve our question ok So the question is find the Laplace transform of this causal periodic square wave with period t. So just note the first step we need to identify the time period of this periodic function. In this case it is t and our next step will be to identify f1 of t. So in this case, between 0 to t, what function exists? That is our f1 of t. So, this will be our f1 of t. Since uh, from t by 2 to t, since the function doesn't exist, so you can ignore that. Okay. So, this will be my f1 of t. So, I need to find the Laplace transform of f1 of t. This is my second step. Find the Laplace transform of f1 of t. So, to do that, I need to write this f1 of t in terms of unit step function. So, this will be u of t minus u of t minus t by 2. So, 
f1 of s will be 1 by s and Laplace transform of this time shifted function will be e raised to minus ds by 2 upon s. So by simplifying 1 by s 1 minus e raised to minus ds upon 2. So we found the what is f1 of s that is here. So in our identity we need to find uh, first f1 of s. So we have done that now. So to find the Laplace transform of this whole uh, periodic square wave, I just need to divide this f1 of s upon 1 minus e raised to minus t s. Okay, so let's do that and identify which among these options is the correct one. So uh, we have already got what is f1 of s. So using the identity that is uh, Laplace transform of the periodic function f of s will be f1 of s upon 1 minus e raised to minus t s where t is the time period after which f1 of s will repeat itself. Okay, This is the identity. So using this the Laplace transform will be f of s will be, uh, just substitute this value of f1 of s in this identity which will be 1 over s into 1 minus e raised to minus t s upon 2 upon 1 minus e raised to minus t s. So this is the answer. So let's see the options and eliminate. We need to have 1 by s term in the answer key. So by doing that we can easily eliminate option A and option D. So now we are left with option B and option C. In option C you can see they have ignored the numerator term which is 1 minus e raised to minus t s upon 2. Okay. So it can't be the answer. So you can strike this one out. So remaining option is B which has to be the right answer and also what we have found is not exactly matching the option B it's because we have not simplified this solution so to do that let's simplify this f of s term to match the one with the answer key so we have this term and minus t s. So let's uh, do let's add a term 1 plus e raised to minus t s by 2 in numerator and divide the same one in the denominator. So what we have done we have added one term in numerator and divided by divide the same term by in the denominator. Okay. So on further simplification, you can easily see this as A and this as B. So this is nothing but A minus P into A plus B. So using identity A minus P into A plus P, which is A square minus B square, we get F of S will be 1 over S and A square minus B square will be 1 minus e raised to minus t s upon 2 into e raised to minus t s upon 2. So this whole divided by 1 minus e raised to minus t s into 1 plus e raised to minus t s upon 2. So multiplying this will yield e raised to minus t s that is 1 minus e raised to minus t s. This will be the numerator. So this will get cancelled with this term in the denominator. So we are left with 1 by s into 1 by 1 plus e raised to minus t s upon 2 which is this option. 
okay 1 by s into this is 1 upon 1 plus e raised to minus ps upon 2 so this is how you need to find the Laplace transform of any periodic square wave the main uh, part is finding out the f1 of t so between 0 to t this after uh, this uh, period t the function is repeating itself okay so thanks for watching the video guys uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, please share the word about our website that is gatep.org thank you